Wow. Oh, it's really, truly a beautiful painting. And a gift to frontline healthcare workers in the UK from an artist whose work usually doesn't look anything like that at all and usually goes up on brick walls in the middle of the night. That's Banksy's new painting, unveiled yesterday at a hospital in South England, and there you see what it depicts, a young boy playing with a nurse superhero doll. Batman, Spider-Man, they're left behind. To see a beautiful picture like this, it just, it, like you say, it warms the heart to know that someone's done this for us in the hospital. It's really flattering that Banksy wanted to give us something here because he's world famous and, you know, we should be too. Banksy added a note with the painting. He says, thanks for all you're doing. I hope this brightens the place up a bit, even if it's only black and white. Well, pictures of the work were also posted on his Instagram page with the caption, Game Changer. So it's fun to like, get out there again and dis discover like new restaurants. <laughs> This is how one restaurant in the Netherlands is transforming itself because of the pandemic. Romantic candlelit dinner for two in a mini greenhouse and the serving staff with face shields. The owners prefer to call these glass cabins and they say it's a novel way of ensuring physical distancing. There you see how it's working. They're testing this ahead of Dutch restaurants officially reopening their patios to customers on the 1st of June. Greenhouse dining, definitely one way to grow the economy. People in uh, the east of the country had their eyes on the skies yesterday. We had these pictures just after they happened, but let's look at them again, the snowbirds underway with Operation Inspiration, which is a salute to Canadians on the front lines of the healthcare system, stopping the spread of COVID-19 and looking after patients. So there you see their formation over Charlottetown, then they moved on to Moncton, Miramichi and New Brunswick, and then headed to Quebec. Their show over Rimouski with the mountains in the background and ended over the Saguenay. So they're moving west now, and we can tell you, because we just checked the schedule, skies are looking good, the ceiling's looking good for shows in Cornwall, Gatineau, Ottawa, Trois-Rivières, Montreal, and Quebec City today. Romeo Boudreau, 97. He lives in a long-term care home in Trois-Rivières, Quebec. He's a bit of a showman, he's known as that. Self-taught musician, usually plays the piano for his fellow residents in the common room every day, but in mid-March, that common room was closed because of COVID-19. So, staff brought the piano to him. They literally hauled it up to the fourth floor across from his room so his floor mates can watch from their doorways. And many more people are watching him now because the local health authority shared this video online.